Here's an ex-starter for 10 points. According to one version, when the explorer Alonso de Ojeda first saw the native Indian villages built on stilts along the swampy shores of late Maracaibo in 1499, what name meaning Little Venice did he give to the state? Abit from an Venice, Calicut. Or Venezuela. Venezuela is the correct answer. 10 points to you. Penalty <laughs> Calicut. Abit's answer there earns the team three bonus questions on scientific principles. Named after a Swiss physicist who formulated it in 1738, which fundamental law of the motion of fluids explains the low slung build of racing cars? Bernoulli. Bernoulli's principles is correct. Five points for that. Next. The following is an example of what principle named after an Austrian physicist as one approaches a blowing horn, the perceived pitch is higher until the horn is reached and then becomes lower as the horn is passed. Doppler. That is right. That's the Doppler effect. Next. Which principle named after an Italian physicist explains that under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, two identical bottles filled with two different gases will contain exactly the same number of molecules? Avogadro. That's right, that's Avogadro's law. And so, NIT Calicut, you end up with 65. As we go into the break, there's very little separating the teams. RVC, Bangalore are at 55. With a 10-point lead at this halfway point, it's NIT Calicut with 65. Things couldn't have hotted up more with the teams running neck and neck as we go into the second half of this contest. We'll conduct that after a very short break. Till then, stay with us. Drive your dream with speed from Bharat Petroleum. Samsung Laser King does a lot, but won't cost you. Smart. <laughs> yeah. Life inspires us to think ahead. Which is why our Investor Show policy is also one step ahead. A unique unit-linked insurance policy with the flexibility to invest in five funds plus the security of life cover. Tata AIG Life. A new look at life. Welcome to the Indira Gandhi International Airport, New Delhi. Please remain seated till the aircraft has come to a complete halt. The temperature outside is 34 degrees Celsius. On behalf of the crew of this flight and Captain Samir Gupta, I thank you for flying Indian Airlines. It would be our pleasure to fly you again. <laughs> You're amongst your own with Indian Airlines. Get your weekly e-newsletter. Visit bbcworld.com The EU has expanded to this border. This used to be the Israeli observation post across this vast region of Sudan where living conditions are so hard. It's poverty that's driving so many people to leave this country. latest business and economic news stories from the world's financial capitals 24 hours a day world business report here on bbc world Every weekday, Asia Today covers the stories, the issues behind the headlines and the people making the news with in-depth reports from more than 30 BBC correspondents across the region. Asia Today, here on BBC World.
Welcome back to a first round match of University Challenge, which is being played by NIT Calicut against RVC Bangalore. Things are very close indeed, just 10 points separate the two teams. So here we go with the next cycle of questions. This half of the contest is going to decide which of them makes it through to the next stage. But remember that if the second team has enough points, they stand a good chance of making it to the second stage as well by virtue of being among the four best losers. So, teams, fingers on the buzzer. Here's the next starter for 10. Which actor made his screen debut playing a god banished to earth where he was born to a tribe of hunters in the Kannada film Bedara Kannapa? And it's Siddharth from RVC Bangalore. Rajkumar. Rajkumar is the correct answer. 10 points. Well done. And so, Siddharth, you've earned RVC Bangalore three bonus questions and the theme for you happens to be groups of three. Even though their names are not mentioned in the main biblical texts, the apocryphal works name them as Caspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. How do we know them together? The three kings from the east, the three wise men. Or the three magi, I'll give it to you. Yes, five points. Next question. In which novel of Fyodor Dostoevsky do we see the protagonists Dmitri, Ivan, and Alexei? Do you have the answer? Crime and punishment. No, it's not. It's the brothers Karamazov. Next question. Which three characters created by the Grimm brothers got identified as Pfeiffer, Fiddler, and Practical in the Walt Disney movie version of the story in 1933? The Three Little Pigs. That is correct, and RVC Bangalore back in the lead. But it's a lead of just 10 points. Let's see what happens with the next starter question. Open to both teams. What phrase was coined by William Gord, director of US Aid? while describing the spectacular increases in cereal crop yields that were achieved in developing countries during the 1960s. It's Arbit from NIT Calicut. Green Revolution. That is correct. You get 10 points for that. <laughs> Arbit, you fetched an opportunity to answer three bonus questions to your team, NIT Calicut. Your theme happens to be a fictional character. Here's a question. Which fictional character, first appearing in 1887, offers some insight into his method of working when he says, when you've excluded the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is correct, Kevin. Five points to you. Next. Although widely identified with Holmes, which four-word, oft-quoted phrase never actually appears in Conan Doyle's writings? Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary, my dear Watson. That is correct. Another five points to you, Kevin, and you can thank Ravi for that. Here's the next one. What collective name is used for the dozen London urchins headed by a boy named Wiggins in Sherlock Holmes stories? Do you have the answer? I nominate Ravi. Ravi? Uh, the Baker Street Irregulars. That is correct. And so you get five points for that. 15 out of 15. <laughs> You're all set now for an audio round with a first starter coming up with an audio clue. Here it is. Identify this pop band which received this year's Grammy for Best New artist, listen to the clue. How can you see and it's Ashanka who's first in. Evanescence. Evanescence is the correct answer. Well done. <laughs> Ashanka has picked up all the points on uh, mass media and entertainment over here for her team. Good. You fetch your team a set of three bonus questions on songs and their subjects. Which historical figure is the subject of this popular song? Rasputin. Rasputin by Boney M. That is the correct answer. Next question. From this song, identify the famous painter the singer is referring to. Starry, starry night. Vincent Van Gogh. That is right. That's from Vincent by Don McLean. And of course, it's talking about the painter Vincent Van Gogh. Last clue in your bonus set. Sung by Falco. The life of which great composer is told through this song? Ludwig van Beethoven. No, that is not correct. It's by the king of Austrian technopop, and he's talking about a fellow Austrian, Mozart. So that's the correct answer over there. You missed that one, but you've got some points. Now, RVC Bangor have a five-point lead. This is getting really exciting. There's nothing to choose between the two teams. Here's the next starter. For 10 points, there's just about five minutes left on this first round match of University Challenge. Makes the most of it, both teams.